Hey, what's up guys, it's Jonathan here. So we all probably heard that real estate is one of the best investments you could possibly make. While I totally agree with this statement, there are certain types of real estate that you should try to avoid from owning. So in this video, we'll discuss four different types of real estate that you should avoid buying and why you should avoid buying them. So if this video provides you any value, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Doing both are completely free and it helps the channel grow. So let's get right into it. So the first type of real estate to avoid is mobile homes. So first, most mobile homes usually depreciate over time. And this is because mobile homes are actually considered to be personal property rather than real estate. And this mostly comes due to the fact that most mobile homes are not bolted down to the ground. And just because of that one reason, they don't appreciate the same way a stick home would appreciate. Because these homes are considered personal property, it can be very difficult to try to get financing on them. And usually if you are able to get financing on them, they usually have higher rates compared to actual stick built homes. And shorter finance and periods. And in some cases, you can only get an adjustable rate mortgage for these home type of homes. And also with mobile homes, in some cases, you may only own the home itself and not the land underneath it, which means that you'll be subject to land leases that are not subject to rent control provisions and can be very costly. And if you do have to leave the home for any reason, you may not be able to rent out the mobile home. So you'll actually have to get removed from the property, which can be very costly. So the second type of real estate you want to avoid is commercial real estate. I'm not talking about necessarily residential commercial real estate, like any apartment building with more than four units, because that's technically considered a commercial building. But I'm talking about more of like retail, warehouses, and office spaces. The pandemic has showed us as a society that we're moving into a world that that's more dependent on working from home. And with the cost to lease office space being as high as it is, I can see a lot of companies reducing the amount of office space they rent out and seeing more of these companies often to have employees work from home. Overall, lowering the demand for commercial real estate from the lease inside. And also another problem with commercial real estate is a lot of the people who are buying commercial real estate are very sophisticated. And in some cases, there are usually syndications that get paid just to place money. So a lot of the valuations in commercial real estate can be very high and it can be very difficult to get a really good deal on a piece of commercial real estate. Another problem with commercial real estate is the finance and terms on it. Unlike residential real estate, there is no 30 year fixed rate mortgage. Instead, financing for commercial properties are usually about five to 20 years long with an amortized loan period of 30 years. So basically what this means is that even if your loan term is five years long, you'd be making payments as if the mortgage was 30 years long. And this means that at the end of your loan term, you would have some kind of balloon payment that would be due in full at the end of the term. To avoid paying this balloon payment, what most investors do is that they just go and refinance and get another loan for that balloon payment. But the problem is, is that that next loan you may get may not be as favorable as the loan that you had initially, which can really mess with your profit and loss statement on the property. And another problem with commercial real estate is that the financing is based off of the metrics of the property itself and not necessarily your ability to pay off the property. So for example, in the more expensive places of the country like San Francisco or New York, you may find yourself having to put about 40 to 60% down on a commercial property, which can make owning a commercial property almost impractical for the average person. The third type of real estate you want to avoid is any properties that have rental restrictions. Like we talked about earlier, mobile homes do fall into this category as a lot of mobile home parks will not let you rent out your mobile homes. But in other cases, there are sometimes co-ops, especially in New York City and even HOAs all over the country that may have limits on how you can rent out your home. So some HOAs may have restrictions that only allow a certain amount of homes to be rented out in the neighborhood at a given time. And if you have to move all of a sudden for whatever reason, this may put you in a bind where you might be forced to sell your home. And if you've never sold a home before, selling a home is extremely expensive, especially in states where you have to pay for both the buyers and sellers agents and closing costs as well. The fourth type of home you want to avoid buying is any property that has been flipped. Typically what flippers will do with this home is that they'll fix all the cosmetics, but they won't touch any of the systems of the home. Because the residential real estate market is driven based off of cosmetics and not necessarily systems, you may find yourself paying top dollar 
for a home that might have shoddy systems like plumbing and electricity. And the unfortunate nature about flipping real estate is that there are some flippers out there that will purposely avoid fixing systems and just fix the cosmetics. And I know that this isn't true for all flippers, but I know that there are some flippers out there that will do this. So it is something to be mindful of. The only exception I'll make to this rule is if a licensed contractor did the flip and they pulled permits for everything. And when I say everything, I mean outlets, ceiling fans, everything that they worked on, they pulled a permit for. And for me, these are the four types of real estate that I would avoid buying myself. Even though real estate can be a really good investment, you have to still be very selective on what you buy. And you don't wanna just buy anything because you think it might be a good deal. Because down the road, it might give you some headaches that you weren't expecting. So I'd like thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It greatly helps out the channel. It helps push this video out to as many people as possible. Also, if you enjoy my perspectives and the way I explain things, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Also, I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you think I missed any types of real estate that you should avoid buying? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, follow me on all my social medias. I try to post there daily. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.